Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adora. I'm a Nigerian YouTuber based in Chicago, Illinois. Today I'm going to show you how I made a cam from scratch. It is also called Ogi and you can call it corn pudding in English. Okay, so to make a cam, you will need just dried corn. You can make use of either the white one or the yellow one, but um, the yellow corn is mostly preferred for a cam. It tastes way better. You can also mix the corn with dawa, um, dawa or joro to get a more um, nutritious um, a cam. But today I'm going to be making use of only the yellow corn. So what you basically need to do is to wash the corn several times for like maybe three times or two times. Sip out the water from the top. Just remove any dirt that might float at the top. After washing it, transfer it to another pot. Add water to it. Cover it and let it soak. So usually you can soak it for either two or three days. But because my my corn has been broken down into smaller pieces i decided to soak it for just two days okay you can decide to soak yours for three days or even a day but i think the ideal should be two days Now this is after 24 hours of soaking the corn, it's time to wash it again. So what you basically need to do is to wash the corn again, remove the water, add a fresh water and let it soak again for more 24 hours. Okay, so the D-Day is finally here. Okay, we are going to do all the work today. This is after 48 hours of soaking the corn, after two days of soaking the corn. So it's time to finally process our corn and get our acam. So we need to wash it for the final time. So the reason of all this washing and washing is just to prevent this acam from having a um, very bad smell, you know, all this bad acam smell. <laughs> So after washing for the final time, blend it, okay? If you have a commercial um, grinder, so you can go to their shops and grind the akam. If you don't, you can make use of the blender you have in your house and just grind it. Add enough water, okay? You don't need to manage when it comes to water. Add any quantity of water. Your fill should be able to grind the akam properly for you. Grind it very well and transfer to another big bowl. Repeat the same process until you are done grinding all the corn. It's time to sieve our corn. So I have my chiffon cloth. I also have my muslin bag. So that bag I just showed you is like a pillowcase. Okay, so you can get a new pillowcase made of um, that such material that you know can be able to sieve out water. That is what I'm using, okay, just a new one. You can also wash it with salt, just um, salty water, just to try to sterilize it before making use of it. Then this is my chiffon cloth. It's just like a blind, a cotton. Just wash it very well with warm, salty water and you can convert it to your akam cloth, okay. Then you need a very big bowl tie the chiffon cloth on the bowl just to create your sieving surface and you'll be ready to sieve your akam.
now to sieve the acam you need enough water next transfer the corn into your sieving surface use your palm and you can add water as you go try and sieve it as much as you can continue sieving and add water as you go until you have just the chaff left So for you to sieve out all of your pap very well, you need to add enough water. You don't need to manage water when it comes to sieving a cam. You need enough water as much as you can afford. The more water you add while sieving it, the more likely your chances of get, getting a large quantity of a cam. So a good indicator to know that you've sieved out all the a cam from the pudding is when it begins to form like when you squeeze it in between your palms you notice that it will stick together and it is it will obviously look like chaff that is how you know that you've saved out all the acam from the pudding so what you need to do now is to squeeze it to remove any water that might be in it remove it add another batch and continue with the same process There are so many things you can even achieve with this corn starch, like your corn fufu. That's your corn milk swallow. You can use it for that. Your corn flour. But I've never tried making use of it to do any of those things. Please, if you have, let me know in the comment section. So now I'm done sieving all my corn and look at what the end result looks like. Okay, not the end, but almost the end result. Okay, so what? you need to do now is to sieve out the excess water from the top and be very careful do not shake it too much if you do you are going to mistakenly pour out your acam so next thing is to transfer it into the muslin bag squeeze it tie the bag use anything you have that can help to drain out the water anything that has weight place it on top of the bag and just leave it for some hours sometimes you can leave it overnight until all the water goes out but you can omit this process if you are not making a very large quantity of acam or like you mustn't do it okay my reason for doing it is just because i like to store this acam for years okay so that's why i just want to squeeze out all the excess water but if you don't want to do this you can just remove the excess water from the top and you can just keep the remaining one as your acam so now you see me trying to drain out all the water so what i'm going to use now is my pot and i'll place <laughs> my very big gallon of palm oil on top of it just I, i'm just looking for anything that has lots of weight so i just want something to help me and squeeze out the excess water you can see that all the water has been squeezed out and my acam is ready it is ready guys that is how to make acam in diaspora but this is the same way we also do it in nigeria there's no difference okay the only difference is that i did everything at home i did not go to the commercial grinders to grind it for me because we don't have one here i did everything at home so 
this is our perfect akam good for breakfast good to pair with akara um oba um moi moi good for babies you know babies winning food it's just good anything you can think of even breastfeeding moms can drink it it helps to boost um breast milk supply okay So let me know in the comment section do you prefer a can made with white corn or do you prefer the yellow corn I've actually tried the two species of corns and I think I prefer the yellow ones okay let me know in the comment section your preference also do you like to add ginger to your akam if yes let me know if no let me know and also do you like adding millet that is um joro and dawa i like that but i couldn't find it where i am so that's why i made just the akam okay so before we go i'm going to show you how i preserve it i store it in my freezer i first of all package them in a ziploc bag just in small quantities i just take out one and i use so that's how i package it i leave it in my freezer and it lasts me for a year plus okay it lasts for a year plus so this is it please if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and please if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and turn on your bell notification so that you'll be notified whenever i upload new videos thank you so much for sticking around with me and i'll see you in my next video have a nice day